After printing from a new spool, you might end up with this kind of spool. Some people, they throw it away. In this video, I will show you what you can do with this filament end, so you don't need to throw it away anymore. There is many ways that you can use the last meters from your spool. One of these ways you can use it as decoration. I made this small vase as an example. I designed this body infusion. The idea here that you create a channel on the outside surface that the filament fits inside. I will show all the bodies that you can see it more clearly. Now you can see that the channel is open from the top side. You just need to slide the filament from that hole. This is just 3D model I will explain more by doing. I want to tell you that there is many ways how to do that just I need to show you the idea and you can do it how you want. After painting the body we just put the filament from the hole. We slide it inside the channel until it reaches the bottom. Then we just cut the filament on the top surface. Continue repeating the same thing until we fill all channels. About tolerance channel hole was 2.2 mm, that the filament 1.75 can fit inside. Also you can decorate the vase with different colors of filament. The good side of this method that the filament is removable so you can change colors when you want. After completing that method so you can see the final result. Also there is another way to use filament and that you can use it as a hinge. So you can connect these two separate bodies with the filament that you can open and close the box. We can see it here more clearly, I designed that body in Fusion. You just need to create a whole channel to put filament inside and connect two bodies. After connecting two bodies it's much easier when you open it still connected. So now you can see it more clearly. This is just a 3D model. I will show you more by doing. It's much better. After printing our bodies, you can see there is a hole here, but it's 2.2. And second body, also there is two holes there. So we just put the first body on the top. Then we just take filament and we try to put it inside holes that it will connect to bodies. We just put the filament inside the hole and try to push it to go forward. Until it gets out from other side. So after it getting out we just cut that and we cut also from other side. So now it's done. You can see that you can open the box so easily. And it's connected and it's so good way to use this kind of hinge. So you don't need to use a metal. Also there is another option to use a filament end by using filament welder. I bought this tool for filament welding. It costs around $5. We will try it how it works. We take two filament ends and we put it inside the tool. Then we use the lighter. So we try to melt the two filament ends and we try to connect it inside. So after melting we push it inside that it take same diameter as a filament. So after that we will open the tool and we can check our filament, how it is. So now it's ready, but you can see there is a little bit on the edge. So we can use a cutter to cut these edges because the extruder, it needs the right size of filament. The idea here in this method that you use your filament ends and you connect it to the filament spool that you can use it and print it. Now you can see it's ready. Also, you can use the filament ends to print small things. There is many things what you can print. But in this video, I designed this body filament cable holder. So it needs three gram of filament to print that body. After printing cable holder, we can use double side tape to stick it on the back side of the body. Then we just cut the tape. 
You just need to be careful when you cut that. You can see now our body is ready. One of my problems this cable always it's in the floor and it's so good to use that too to keep it on the table. We take our 3D printed body, we remove the tape. Then we try to install it on the table. It doesn't matter where, but you choose the place where you think. I think it's more easier to install it on the edge. So if you need to use that space. So now you can install and to remove the cable. And it's much easier, much safer too. Better than keep it on the floor. So I think it was so good option. So you can use that. Also, there is another option to use filament and that you can connect parts. I designed this magnetic hook that you can hang the towel and by pressing the magnet there. Also, you can hang in the towel from outside. But there is problem that you can lose this magnetic side. So we try to connect that. I will try explain more in this video. So I created a hole on that side and the back side. So we try to pass a filament from these two holes that it's connected. So even if it's loose, you still have it. So you can see it here. So we just take, we just take filament and we pass it inside the hole. So until it get out, then we can use the lighter and we melt a little bit the end of the filament that we try to make it more thicker that it's keeping filament connected so then we just check what size then we cut the filament so we can see more here try to put that inside I think it's too long Maybe this it's much better. So then we just cut the filament and we use lighter again. We do same method that we try to make it like a little bit thicker on the end. So that it's keeping inside. And I think now it's working. So we can just go and start it and see it how it works. So now you can use the hook inside, outside. And even if you let it so you don't lose it. I think it's a good method to keep 3D printed part connected so you don't lose things. 